Welcome back to my channel. So I was thinking about this girl. She asked me one time, she said, how do you remain private online when, but still show up and create content, et cetera, et cetera, but keep your privacy. And I was like, girl, I've been doing it for years because at some point in time, I had a very public relationship. I was very out and open, like, oh, blah, 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 blah. And then suddenly I absolutely just stopped posting. People like, oh my God, they broke up or they making rumors or et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. You don't know my life. <laughs> you just don't know. You know what my solution is now? Lie. Everyone is like, the Lulu is the Salulu. I think that to an extent, because it's it's so interesting. I built a brand and a reputation of being very authentic. And it works. You know, I connect with people. I don't come on camera always looking perfect. I don't be looking perfect. Like, my hair, this is how my hair be. Like, this is perfect to me. You know what I'm saying? Like... I can get dolled up or whatever I can do what I do, but I, if I have a message, I'm not gonna silence myself because I don't have on makeup or my clothes. You know what I'm saying? So anyway, I just believe my voice and my purpose is bigger than the aesthetics. Um, I have worked on that and you know what happened? I tried to like clean it up a little bit and I got less engagement. <laughs> so it's like, ah, I have to find now a happy medium. But anyway, the Lulu is a solo low. Um, and you know what's so interesting? First of all, okay, I'll use this for lip liner. I do that because I can't, I can't talk and do lipstick. I don't know how y'all do that. Anyway, um, so number one, it's like you can have a happy, mind, but you know these accounts, right? They have like faceless accounts now, so it's like. You don't even know who's behind it. And there's two things about it. And how I feel about lying and being Delulu. It could go two ways. People can be inspired and you can inspire yourself. Because to me, I feel like social media can absolutely be like a vision board. That's how my social media experience has been for years. I'm just now following like blogs and stuff like that. Trying to figure out like what's actually going on in the world. Because for the longest, I was following hashtags, baby. And I wanted to see what I wanted to see. <laughs> so, you know, and now you're suggested so much content of things you genuinely don't care about um i like a tailored scroll but that's just me so the thing is though on the other hand you could be authentic showing up and this is i feel like this happened with me it was like people kept saying people not happy in real life and stuff and i was like yo i'm literally happy in real life like i'm genuinely happy and I'm genuinely showing up and people will still think that I'm secretly miserable. It's like, mm, it's okay. I'll just show up less. And then when I went through what I went through with my mom a couple of years ago, I stopped getting online because it was natural. Like, I mean, I think more people wanted me to be, I think people expected me to be a certain way. Um, my grief process, it got worse over time. So like at first it was horrible, like physically, right? But like mentally, it wasn't, I had a lot of therapy though. I mean, if I think about it, I did a lot of work. So it's like, I think when I slowed down with the therapy, mentally it got worse and physically it got better. When I say physically, the health problems that come up with grief and um, the stress levels, the crying, how it exhausts and dehydrates your body, um, physically not being able to like do certain things, like because I'm in pain. The, the pain was in my body and I got the when I got the pain out of my body I think still mentally I had a lot of work to do um where it just I don't know it just hit me different and I feel like grief hit you different but anyway I stopped showing up online because I can't be fake I'm not about to get online acting like I'm feeling like so for me I like I said I built a brand on authenticity so my story is a little different she calling me she always calling me <laughs> but <laughs> um so but th this is the thing because i would say stuff online like for example um when i was heavy selling the uh, weight loss pro weight loss products i was like go see my doctor and go see who my doctor is because the bbl allegations I fear they never disappear. You know what I'm saying? And then people was thinking that I had surgery. And I'm like, y'all, no. It's a not a joke. It is a joke. It's not a doctor. It's supplements. I was selling a product. It's marketing. And I've done a lot of things online. 
with my marketing um like the only fans people think that do you really think that i i want only fans going crazy like i'm not it's a behind this oh i hate that um you find out you find out but it's like it's like people what i'm saying the thing that i'm saying is people are going to do this regardless they're gonna talk 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 they're gonna yip 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 regardless so you may as well go crazy you may as well say wild stuff hurry up um and do it before you get cr crazy censored and you're like banned for or not banned but like your stuff is being taken down because it's this and that like live your life live your life say what you want to say it's not like we out here being as long as you're not being harmful because sometimes some jokes be like all right but you gotta find a thin line between it because a lot of stuff i do is comedic am i a comedian sure i'm <laughs> you know i'm working on it um but i didn't plan that it's like i make people laugh on the internet i've been doing it for years i don't know it's funny i like being funny it's fun but you do have to have a little bit of some type of social responsibility i'll say that and i try not to go too wild with that because i know that when it comes to talk about now about serious stuff i want to make sure that there's still a, a connect with my audience where if i'm telling you some real stuff that has happened to me i don't want it to be a joke like you come in and you think it like you know this is like the, the person who cried wolf i want to make sure that i maintain that still that authenticity where it's like my audience knows when i'm joking like there's some people you know they're so sense of humor because you you watch them you follow them or whatever you have seen like you can tell when they're being honest and when they're not and then sometimes they could be like saying some off the wall stuff but you don't know who they are so you commenting all of this stuff you know what i'm saying it's like confusing and then they have this reputation where it's like oh but you said da da da, da and the whole time it's like girl it was a joke like relax so it's that balance too where it's like you don't want to like go too too wild but i do think that is important in this day and age to do whatever you feel so like for the most part i just try to i show i i think people can tell when i'm being it's very very serious and people can tell when i'm like being sarcastic and i feel like a long it took a long time for me to understand sarcasm i really was the type of person that it just go over my head for a long time i had to like pay attention to different people how they um oh this is bossy glamour and lip gloss i know you asked look at it's at the end um, I gotta go, y'all. Love y'all. Bye!